Okay, now that we have installed Xcode, let's uh, create a simple console application and see how we can actually build our C or C++ uh, applications on this. Uh, before doing anything, uh, try to be organized. So go to Documents and in your Documents, uh, create a directory for your subject, whatever it is, say OP244. So OP244, we create that one. And uh, then start the Xcode and create a new Xcode project. And when you uh, start the application, uh, start Xcode, it's going to be on multi-platform app. Go on Mac OS and select command line tools and click on next. Uh, the product name is the directory. It's going to create the project in. So I'm going to call it lab. Um, the organization identifier it really doesn't matter what you write over here, but um, we're just going to call it over here, write it over. You can call it lab or workshop two or whatever. It really doesn't matter in our stage. Select the language in which you want to do the programming, either C or C++. Not Objective C or Swift, just those, just one of these two, and then click on next. Then in documents select OP244 and say I want to work, work on workshop 2 create a directory in here new folder uh, say I'm gonna call it workshop work shop 2 create and you can do another creation over here but this is uh, deep enough nested enough so simply click on create and in that workshop too is going to create two directories nested directories lab that's how um, uh, Xcode works uh, click on lab or uh, click on main and it shows uh, what is the type it's a uh, uh, main.cpp is the name of the file and it's a it says it's a C++ uh, plus plus file there's a plus at the top so it shows it's C++ plus plus. You can uh, modify this, say I'm going to do right over here, workshop, workshop, workshop to lab. And you can click on play button and it's going to run and execute it in a window down here. As you see, you can always make this window bigger or small or whatever you want to do. So that's that. So this is uh, creating a simple console application. Say I want to do the DIY part of workshop two. So what you can do, uh, start uh, Xcode again. Create a new Xcode project and command line tool. In here, I'm going to call it DIY. So I want to do DIY section of workshop two. I'm going to click on next. Um, I'm going to click on uh, Documents, so I can come back to 244 and Workshop 2. I'm not going to go to Lab, I'm just going to create DIY right beside this because they, are, they both belong to Workshop 2. I'm going to click on Create. Oh, one more thing I have to explain. Uh, uncheck Create Git Repository on Mac unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so this should be unchecked. Click on Create. And now the DIY is created with a C++ uh, uh, main over here created. Now if I want to say so in here I'm gonna create uh, say over here workshop to DIY workshop to DIY and say I want to add a module called uh, mm, hello to here. So what I will do I'm gonna uh, go to DIY and right click over here and go new file and I'm going to click, uh, create, uh, check uh, on a uh, click on a C++ file. Click on next. The name of the file it's going to be the hello uh, hello app. So hello uh, module. So I'm going to call it hello. And uh, also create a header file. Uh, if you s check this one, it's gonna ch set on uh, set it uh, on HPP, which you don't want to use. So I'm going to um, uh, uncheck it. So no header file is created. Uh, and if I if I uh, leave it as is, then the header file is gonna get created. Let me actually. Uh, I'm going to leave it to create and you see what, what's going to happen. So if I click on next over here, 
um, it's going to say where you want to create it. It's in DIY group. So I'm going to, and the target is DIY. So we select that one and we we'll click on create. And as you see, the hello is created. And if you look at it, hello is C and this one is hello.hpp because that's how it names it. Uh, if you want to change that, then you have to rename it manually yourself. If you don't want it to be like that, then the HPP to be there because your all the work you are going to write is going to be in um, .h, not HPP, so you have to rename it yourself. To rename it, all you need to do is click on it and just remove the PP. So now it's hello.h. Now you can actually create your modules over here and uh, do whatever is necessary to uh, um, do your workshop. Thank you very much for watching and more instructional videos coming.